But we are back. It is an eventful week, to say the least, as Coach Quill with a little laugh here. It's our weekly spot of the Tim Quill Coach's Corner. Coach, welcome. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. All right. Um, we're going to get into some of the dramatics in a minute, but you've had a few days to digest this conference championship. Uh, the women end up uh, claiming the conference title. The men finishes the runners-up. Uh, let's start off with that. Give us your assessment of, of how you felt the teams performed here this past week. I mean, you know, as far as the men's team is concerned, I, you know, looking back at it now, I think they had. A, I really do think they had a great meet. It's just that we, uh, you know, were absent those real key players, you know, with experience that are on the level that kind of know what they're in for, know what three to four days feels like. Know, know, know what it feels like to come back and have to have to continue to swim faster and, and stronger. So, so I, I think on that end, you know, we're, we're missing some experience. But as far as how the entire team competed, um, I mean, we, we really had a great, great weekend. It was a great atmosphere at the Hutch. There's, there's no question about it. it. It always is with this championship event this year. Uh, it culminated on Sunday night. And... For those of you that weren't in attendance, there was a little bit of a question on the final score. Was it Southern Connecticut? Was it Assumption on the women's side? And uh, it, it took a little bit. Uh, it took almost three hours to get it all yeah. determined. Uh, teams were waiting around. Your team stayed for the entirety. Uh, of course. <laughs> well, they were very happy at the end, too. Um, but take us through the range of emotions on your end. I mean, you're up there, you're consulting with the coaches, you're consulting with the league office, you're consulting with the timers. I mean, are you worried as all this is going on and transpiring? What would take us through the, the series of events? Well, first off, I mean, I, I, thought, I thought we lost yeah. because I was basing everything on a particular score at a particular time on Sunday night. So... And I use that as the as our basis. And the and the fact is, we're hanging on for for uh, for dear life. Our our women, listen, they really did. They they had a very tough meet. Um, you know, it, we were going up against a very strong Assumption College, which we knew. If you looked at the psych sheet, I mean, there's we, we shouldn't even have been in the picture. But we, I guess, we kind of thought that we had done enough on Saturday to kind of hold off any type of charge on Sunday, and it proved that. You know, it wasn't really, I mean, it was close. Yeah. It was close. To not know what the score is at the end, yeah, that obviously made it a little anticlimactic because, you know, we did win the women's A free relay, which if we went with the actual score, if they had beaten us, we would have lost by two. So, you know, to not know what was going on at the end kind of made things a little bit complicated. And then we couldn't really celebrate the way that a... a, a winning team would normally celebrate. Um, look, it's been a real, real tough three to four weeks. Um, I, we, we had a lot of kids sick, uh, kids still sick even now. Um, you know, f for them to battle the way that they did, you know, I think just is, real, is a testament to the, their, their strength and their, uh, and their ability level and um, you know what Southern Connecticut has always been about. I mean, you, you know, for, for us to be in the mix for this many years, I mean, it's just a great tribute to what they go through all the time. So uh, it, the emotions were absolutely bad, completely mixed in millions of different directions. And to go from thinking that you lost to winning by 10, you know, it's a nice feeling now. Yeah, yeah. Nice feeling now. You used the word battle a moment ago, and, and you know, you were able to get contributions up and down the roster. Of course. Um, you know, and just to touch on the diving piece, I mean, it turns out the, the missing points there were by one of your divers on the women's side. It was diving, women's yeah. three-meter diving. Yeah, on the men's Hit it yeah. in the bottom. <laughs> on the men's side, you, you have the co-divers in the meet. Um, so just talk about being able to get so many contributions from, from your roster here and, you know, how that led to the success this weekend. Well, you have to give... Uh, you have to give a lot of um, tribute to what our divers had to go through. We had a coaching change this year. Brought in a young man. Um, he's done a really nice job in a very short period of time. And for our uh, divers to score uh, top three on the women's side, score third and fifth uh, place points. And for um, for our men to go one, two, Dave and and Salim, Salim obviously the national qualifier, 
uh, for them to split first and second, uh, you know, on, on, on the different boards. And to be honest with you, Noah Curtis, <laughs> you got to give Noah Curtis a lot of credit. I mean, you know, we made a choice to put him on the board uh, during mid-year. He uh, welcomed it with open arms. You know, it's not an easy situation for a guy that really has not put a lot of time in on a, on a diving board to get on the one meter and then get on the three meter. <laughs> you know, and, and he, he, he dove legitimate dives. He did a great job. And, um, so, you know, without diving, we would have been we've been in trouble. <laughs> um, let's talk about Celine for a bit. Uh, yeah. The announcement came out yesterday. He's going to head back to the NCAA championships to the pre-qualifying event for the right. third straight year. Um, certainly, you know he he's been recognized with a lot of different honors, but I mean, he's been very consistent too throughout the course of his time there. And so he's yes. been a big factor in what you guys have been able to accomplish. Yes. Well, I mean, hey, he's first off, you know, our diving coaches yeah. have done a great job. You know, developing it. Yeah, he's been at the meet the last two years. Uh, he knows what to expect. This pre-qualifying round, you fly all the way down to Alabama. You don't even know if you're going to be part of the official travel party. You don't know if you're going to be sent home on Wednesday or Thursday. I mean, it's a pretty nail-biting type situation. But fortunately, he's experienced it, and I would hope that you know. And I think that he is good enough now to get into the. Uh, you know, to actually get into the meet itself that runs Wednesday through Saturday. So that's what we're looking for. And he gets into that situation, and he's got a good shot to be an All-American. Well, Coach, I, I know you said it was a hectic few weeks, certainly a hectic yes. week in the last few days. Uh, I hope you get some well-deserved R&Rs as we move forward here. Congratulations on a great conference championship weekend. Uh, stellar job by your staff and your student-athletes. Yeah, staff, CJ, Steve, great job. All right, well, thanks again for tuning in, everybody. Have a great week, and Coach, thank you. Thanks.